Growing up in the northwest of WA is pretty unique. You know, living somewhere like this, pretty lucky. We've got world-class waves, and my generation, we were some of the first younger grommets to sort of start surfing around here and stuff. As grommets, we all just got thrown straight out in the waves that are just breaking on the dry rocks. It's just what you're caught up in, and you just seem to adapt into it. Most of the time it's rugged and lots of energy in this part, so there's nothing else to do. You just surf, 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 so we were always there every chance we could. It's always been a trip for us growing up here, especially travelling so much. And going away and then coming back and realising that you really do live in the middle of nowhere. We are so isolated up here, you know, I think the closest town from here is like two hours away, so it's a pretty special spot, you know, right where the desert sort of meets the ocean and it's really red and red dirt, red cliffs and really rugged. It's not the same face every day, it's nature and um, just beauty everywhere. Hot and, you know, not too many trees and stuff like that, so you, you kind of just got to seek refuge in the ocean and get away from the flies. I think I probably had like a thousand flies on my face the other day, so <laughs> you get used to them, you swallow a few, and a few go in your ear and up your nose and everywhere else, so. <laughs> you know, you always hear myths of different waves being at certain places and some of them aren't very easy to get to. It's good to go away and travel with crew and have fun, you know. You're sitting in like the bluest ocean you'll ever see and finding a fun little wedge and get barreled. It's lots of searching and it's the adventure of getting to where the waves are and but you've just got to be sort of dedicated to sacrifice and, you know, maybe find something better but you might get skunked at the same time but a lot of the time it pays off. You just face a lot of different elements, I guess, like all kinds of extremeness. It's like kind of Hawaii style, you know, like they go through every kind of condition to surf. And like so many of my friends are like that, like you're really just bleeding it all. It's so big, Western Australia's huge, but we're all really tight, even though we're so far away. Like, they're, they're still our best mates and we talk all the time and they come up here, we go down there and traveling and exploring. We just started traveling together. And Kirby is Dino and Ry Craig. Just a handful of people around these areas love the joint. And it's easy to stay here and just surf the same spots and sometimes you just get a sacrifice swells and go look elsewhere. You get used to it, that's what you think's normal, and then you go away and you realise that it's pretty gnarly.
You know, we have so much coastline in WA and a lot of it's still undiscovered. You know, that whole spirit of the never-ending adventure and who knows what you're going to find around the corner, that's kind of what I live for, you know.